All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Mr. Majestic by Elmore Leonard. This is Elmore Leonard's second sort of mystery novel. His first one was The Big Bounce. We reviewed that one. Before Elmore Leonard was a mystery writer, he was a Western writer, one of the most famous Western writers in the 50s and 60s. And then he decided to turn to mysteries. And if you watched my review of The Big Bounce, you, you, I, I explained to you how hard it was. Even though he was such a famous writer, nobody wanted to publish his mysteries. He finally found a publisher, and he became one of the greatest mystery writers that we've got. In fact, he is the main inspiration for all of the Tarantino movies. In fact, Jackie Brown, the Tarantino film, was based off of one of Elmore Leonard's mysteries. Raylan, Raylan Givens, Justified, that whole TV show was based off of an Elmore Leonard movie. Mr. Majestic came out 1974, his second mystery novel he ever wrote. Mr. Majestic was also in The Big Bounce. Now he's in Mr. Now he's got his own. Mr. Majestic is a character that sort of shows up in a lot of the uh, Elmore Leonard books. There was a, a film. If you want to know, if you just want to get a flavor of what this book is like, just YouTube the film. Mr. Majestic, type this right into YouTube and the clip will come up. It gives you an ex it tells you exactly what this book is about. Mr. Majestic resolves a labor dispute. It's a scene from the movie starring Charles Bronson. Yeah, they made a movie of this starring Charles Bronson back in the 70s. Charles Bronson played Mr. Majestic. Just YouTube that scene. It's like a five-minute scene. Mr. Majestic, Mr. Majestic resolves a labor dispute. That gives you... That, that's, that'll set you up for the flavor of what, you, what, what this book is. It's, it's, it's typical, typical Tarantino-esque, noir, pulp fiction-like, High jinks and mayhem. That's that's what it is. It's really what it is. I mean, this book opens up with the best scene at a truck rest stop that you'll ever see, where, where they're arguing over whether the, the gas station att attendant is arguing over whether he should allow all the the migrant workers use his. 7-Eleven toilet <laughs> and it's just it's got it's just the dialogue the back and forth it's so I mean if you love Tarantino movies and you love that kind of dialogue it just opens up with one of the great scenes about a toilet and it's fantastic Mr. Majestic is he's just a man who wants to see his melon crop he, he works down in Arizona raising raising uh watermelons right he's got a watermelon farm all he wants to do is make sure his crop gets harvested at the right exact time. But he runs into these people and he ends up getting himself tossed into jail. Well, you can't harvest your you can't harvest your watermelon crop from jail. So now he's in this conundrum because he's a really he's a decent guy. He's is a decent guy. He just wants to do the right thing. He just wants to be a good American, live the American dream, work on his farm, make his money. But then he gets tossed in with these bad people and in jail. And then this weird bus trip. And then he meets um, hitmen. He meets these crazy women and hitmen and all sorts of different things. I mean, oh, and the hitman Renda is just badass. I mean, it's just it's just one of those stories that only. Elmore Leonard could like make interesting, you know what I'm saying? It's like a watermelon farmer becomes like the most badass dude ever. I mean, it's completely implausible, but it works. It works with, uh, you know, Mr. Majestic. And, and we, I forgot to review the cover. Oh my God, look at that cover. That is a picture of Mr. Majestic's watermelon pickup truck. Oh, it's just, it's a snazzy, flashy cover. You gotta, you gotta admit. Cover the cover. The cover is dope. You know, most of the covers for the Elmore Leonard books are pretty flashy, pretty out there, pretty like pulp fictiony. Um, Elmore Leonard is just a great writer. Is this his best book? No, I think some of his best work comes later. Big, the Big Bounce and Mister Majestic. You can kind of tell he's just feeling his way into the mystery genre. Like he was such a prolific Western writer, and now he's jumped 
genres over to the into the mystery realm and uh he, he you can kind of tell he hasn't really found his voice fully because his voice really takes off because he's got like some 30 odd mystery books now and these are the first two and we'll be reviewing each one of them but down the road when you get to some of the other ones like freaky deaky or bandits or kill shot or get shorty or even Raylan, um Oh man, the, the the dialogue is just oh, it's just so on point. It's just like delicious, and it's just like if you want to know what it's like to read a Quentin Tarantino movie on the page, Elmore Leonard is your guy. Like I've said in every Elmore Leonard review I do, he is the main inspiration for Quentin Tarantino. He is Quentin Tarantino's favorite writer. He's one of my favorite writers. The guy is just straight dope. Dope. And Mr. Majestic, if you don't want to read the book, I mean, that's, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's really short. It's only like 200 pages. But there's the Charles Bronson movie, which I watched, and it's pretty fucking good. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good. Doesn't follow the, it doesn't follow the book a whole lot, so it's kind of like you get two, two stories in one. If you want to read this and then watch the movie, you're getting two stories in one. I give this a good 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a... A decent second effort in the mystery genre for our main man, Elmore Leonard. Can't go wrong with an Elmore Leonard book, and I got them all. This is only like a fourth of the Elmore Leonard books. I got, I got, I got the whole, I got the whole collection down here on my bottom shelf. Anyway, that's the end.